Hey, this is Miko from ML Sound Lab and let's talk about how you make your existing camper profile sound even better with the Miko, the next generation cabinet simulator. Let's check it out. So let me ask you a question first. How many camper profiles do you have of the same amplifier? Because I would assume that if you have a favorite amplifier, something like a JCM 800, you will have at least 10 different profiles by different makers and you use your favorites and maybe use many of them. But that kind of seems wrong in many ways, doesn't it? I mean, you're essentially buying the same thing over and over again, uh, but why do they sound so different? And I would say that most of the reason why they sound so different is because the cabinets, the actual speakers and the mic up is completely different based on whoever is micing up the cabinet. So what I want to show you is how you use your existing camper profiles that you love and breathe more life into them with the Miko. So let's start with me explaining what Miko is. So this is Miko. Um, this is our first plug-in standalone uh, program by ML Sound Lab, and what this is is a next generation cabinet simulator, meaning that this cabinet simulation in here is most likely higher than any of the cabinet simulations on any of the modelers out there right now. And what I mean with this is that you can actually choose to have up to nine microphones, place them on nine different cabinets, everything from uh, British cabinets to American ones and smaller and bigger cabinets. Um, you can place those microphones anywhere in 3D space, meaning that you can also pull the mic up, down, to the side, and you can even pull it back uh, to 16 inches from the cabinets. Okay, so that's kind of the explanation. You have these six microphones to choose from, among many other things. You can blend these microphones together and make your own mic up. So where Kemper comes in is that you're always kind of stuck with the profile and what kind of cabinet people were profiling and at least in my experience when I tried different cabinets with existing profiles that weren't done the same way, I get kind of mixed results and I don't really know why something works and why it doesn't. The reason is because it's always a little bit unclear what kind of profile you're using, whether it's a DI profile or whether the cabinet was captured separately or whatever. So um, what you can do with Miko is take an existing camper profile. Right now I'm using a Michael Britt JCM800 profile and this is what it sounds like the way Michael Britt made it. So. And as we all know, Michael Britt does some awesome profiles, so it does sound really good. Uh, personally, I kind of like a brighter sound, so uh, what I would do is place the microphones very differently than what he did. Now, what you can do with the Miko is really cool, so let's just bypass the cabinet section from the camper and use Miko instead. <laughs> And already you can hear that even though it does have that same good capture that Michael does, it does have a completely different sound to it because the cabinet is different. So what you can do with Miko here is try a bunch of different cabinets. For example, if I wanted to try like a greenback instead of this what I'm using here, um, I just use one of these presets that I've made. And let's see what it sounds with a greenback. <laughs> And a V30. A really worn V30. And right there, I think I kind of found what I really liked. So now, even though uh, I'm using this preset that I've made for the Miko, 
I can now choose which microphones on the cabinet I want to use. So I can just mute these other microphones and just use this one microphone. And now I can see that it's a 57. And if I just would have mic'd the cabinet up with this 157, it would have sounded like this. <laughs> Okay, so while that is a really cool sound, I feel like maybe I could have a little bit more low end in there. So let's just see which of these microphones is the one to one. It's this one. And now I'm blending two microphones in equally and I have this kind of a sound. Once again I have a different sound and I didn't have to purchase another profile to get this kind of a JCM800 sound and I can just trust that Michael Britt did a really good job as he always does. So now what if I want to get this sound into the camper? Well that's possible with the export IR function. So I just click here and the camper format is 4424 and you can actually use 16 bit as well but just export this IR and put it in your camper uh, by using the cab maker by camper as well. So now you can have this as a cabinet section in your camper and you can breathe completely different new life to your existing really good sounding profiles and you're not kind of stuck with the cabinet section of uh, that particular profile. There's one more crucial thing that I need to cover for camper users and that is the impedance controls here. So uh, if you kind of are familiar with the different types of camper profiles, if it's a studio profile or a live profile or whatever, you'll kind of know that the way the cabinet gets captured differs, meaning that some of the cabinets will have impedance color in or it won't have any of that in and that's the DI capture function essentially. So with the Miko you can kind of match uh, these profiles to use a different kind of IRs. So for example if this Michael Britt 800 cabinet section would require impedance color in it I can simply use the impedance function here and uh, use a UK 4x12 but since I'm essentially using an American 4x12, I'm gonna use that function and add some low resonance in. And if you're looking at that spectrum analyzer, you'll see that this low resonance is adding that low resonance in to your sound. And uh, if I just leave these at 100%, it's uh, where it's realistic. <laughs> Turning it off sounds like this. So as you can hear, with the impedance added into the cabinet section, it sounds a lot more hi-fi and scooped and kind of mix ready. So this is once again without the impedance function. So I would say that this particular profile that I'm using here would actually require to have this impedance in and it sounds really good with the impedance and uh, obviously you can do custom stuff like if you didn't really want to have that much low resonance. <laughs> And if you wanted to have more of the high resonance, you can do just that and this will get baked in to the exported IR uh, that you can use as a cabinet section in your camper. So I hope I've made it really clear that the Miko is a really powerful tool for camper users and you can make many of your existing profiles that you don't like that much sound awesome with just using the Miko as the cabinet section and then you can export the IRs 
and use them as cabinets in your profiler and that's just insane amount of versatility for Kemper users. Uh, I highly recommend you check out Miko and you can actually try the free version. The free version will only have one cabinet in it but it should be enough for you to kind of make up your mind and understand the power of the Miko. So go check out Miko and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.